welcome back. Um, first small, known first run. Got a little bit of cast. Got some alley. Uh, got a few motors. Got some stainless. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any um, household wire or anything like that yet. Not too short I'm doing. I've only got about an hour of daylight, so I'm gonna load the van up tonight and. Uh, yeah, I've still got to clean up the stainless, I've still got to take some wire for the motors. So that all depends on time. Once it starts getting dark, it ain't, it ain't worth it. I'm only doing this little run first run because I'm taking Louis to the hospital for a checkup on his hand. And it's not far from um, Bourne Scrapyard. So I thought I'd run some in there just to see what they're like, see what sort of price they're going to give me. That's why I'm not worried about too much of my stuff. I just want you know, a couple of diesel on the journey. And it's something to do on the way back. So, um, yeah. I mean, like I said, I might do my household. Um, I might not. Might even be able to get a chance to strip a bit more wire. And um, I'll ask the price. And if the price isn't what I want, it stays in the van. That's as simple as that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this loaded. Right, so I've got a little bit of cast, like I said. Um, just other bits of alleys, really. Um, and then I'm going to put the motors in the middle. See these bottles up there from Louis. And we can race in. He keeps chucking them in the cab, so I've just chucked them all in the back of the van because I've had enough of it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some motors in the middle. And then my stainless in there. I've got to clean my stainless up a bit more. Um, I've spark tested all that because I thought that might be um, stainless because it's bathroom stuff, you know. But I wasn't sure. But anyway, it's Ali. It felt like Ali, it sounded like Ali, but I thought about a double check. So, uh, yeah, so I spark tested it. If you don't know what I mean by spark testing, all I've done is got a grinder on it, and uh, you get uh, sparks come up for stainless, and you don't go for Ali. Obviously, if you've got been cutting steel with your wheel, it will um, spark because it'll have bits of metal in it. Yeah, so it's so I'm going to try bore them only because, like I say, I'm out that way. And then, um, so it just makes sense come out of that way to try it again. Um, yeah, so that's what, that's what I do. So I'm making it awkward for myself because they definitely need to bag things up because you have to walk so far. You put on the scales, but then you have to clear the scales and you have to walk so far around. But... I haven't really got any bags to spare. And uh, see, so I'll get treated, to be honest with you. Um, I've no plan using Borum a lot because I, I, I like Crescent, you know, but there are things happening. Um, but might have to hold all that. But um, yeah. So I was going to chuck the motors in the middle and uh, yeah, and then put my stainers on, hopefully, at the back. Been a bit. Um, I'll make sure I cut a plug off. I'll do that. I'll do that before. I, uh, you know, when I'm not filming. But I'm doing dark things like doing bits of pipe on because I just want to see how they react to it. I wouldn't do that for crescent. I'd get rid of all the plastic and everything. Motors, I can't think what they're called, but out the microwaves. Um, yeah, bits and pieces, all kinds I'm putting in here. So you've got Ali on because it's noisy. Plastic on like that. You've got to try it, and you've got to see if they moan. I just chuck it back in the van. Simple as that, you see. Then I'll take it off, clean it up, take the crescent.
that's what the motors I'm taking. Don't know how heavy it is, probably not that much, but um, wheelbarrow didn't like it, bending the handle, so uh, yeah, a little bit of weight there, not much. But uh, we'll clean the stainless up and get the stainless on. So, all I'm doing to clean the stainless up is scraping this soundproofing off. Scratch what I always scrape it off, some people don't, some people do. Some yards don't care, some yards do, but I, I like to scrape it off anyway. And uh, then I know it's, it's clean, you know, that's only a door um, from a dishwasher. So that soundproofing body weighs more than that panel. I think it's the heaviest. No, there's not a lot of weight, there's not a lot of weight to that at all. And then I'll do the same on the back of the sinks. This one there, you can see it. Um, I took all the plastic off the clips off. Uh, obviously, I took the brass off because that's in my brass pile. This is all stainless. This is all stainless. In the springs are stainless. Everything you see there is, is stainless, apart from the plastic top and the and the, the, you know, the stop. But you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so um, I've decided because it's getting dark, I can't be asked to clean it. It's taking too long. It's getting dark. You can hear this car. It sounds really nice. It's Triumph 2000. Some nice cars around here. Um, yeah, so I can't be asked. It's getting dark. I don't think it shows up on camera how dark it is. But um, yeah, so I won't be able to load anymore in the morning because. I'll be leaving here about 25-7 to take Louis to hospital for his hand. And like I say, this is just on the way back. Anything they don't want, or the price sounds crap, I'll um, leave in the van and take the Crescent on the way back. I'll pass that as well, so it's not a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, I just want to get rid of it. I've got to clear the place. And uh, this is the stuff that was outside. Obviously, I've still got more alley. I've got more stainless. Um, yeah. I might go and strip some wire for a little while, for an hour or two in the garage, in the workshop. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to leave it like that for the... Uh, load this in. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning when we get the scrap yard. Probably won't be able to film there. That's the thing, because it's just hopeless there. But boring. You know, trying to film the none fair aside so i probably won't film but if i don't film i'll let you know what it is or maybe we'll get a bit of footage who knows i'm taking this cable as well it's like it's got like a i guess like an arm right around it i've shown this before and that's the same in there but it's got the plastic you can't really see it's too dark in it but i'm taking that as well um it's in another video but uh, just to see what they say about it i'm <coughs> I've no idea. I don't think it's really worth the effort of trying to strip it down. But, um, yeah. Right, I weighed that in. And, um, like I said, I went to pour them in the end. Let's so get that down a bit. That's better. Um, yeah, I went to pour them, like I said, because um, I took Louis to hospital. Um, and it's not far from, from the hospital at all. A um, bit of good news that we've finished the treatment with a physio at um, the hospital, so that's good. Um, he's just got, you know, he's still got to keep an eye on it. It's, it's in that stage, but we're finished now, so that's one less thing to sort of have to do. Right, so anyway, what did it weigh and what did it pay? I've written it down on another piece of paper because um, their um, tickets are not the easiest ones to work out and read, you know. So, um, and they don't price them up, so I had to work the prices out. They just give you an end price. Um, that cable went as low grade, <laughs> but the bloody hassle I had with it. Um, they're trying to figure out what it was, if it, what it was armoured with, if it was stainless or what it was armoured with, you know, who knows. Um, and then they had somebody come out to check it from the office, and she said it was telecom cable and they can't take telecom cable because it's telecom cable and it wasn't telecom cable 
um, like I say, it was from a model thing, model uh, model railway, and it wasn't marked up or nothing like that, so it wasn't telecom cable. So one stage she said, we're not going to take it, blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, you know, give me a reason why not. And she's going, oh, it's telecom cable. And the bloke said, then you can, it ain't telecom cable. It's the wrong material. Um, all the rest of it. So that took sort of 10 minutes to sort that out. Uh, anyway, when it's um, um, low grade, what was fine, I didn't care what it went as. Like I say, it didn't cost me nothing. So that was £1,100 a tonne. So that's £1.10 a kilo, a kilogram. We had 17 kilograms, so that come to £18.70. Well, I thought it was okay. Right, so that brings me to me stainless steel. That was £650 a tonne, 65 per kilogram. Um, I had 42 kilograms, so that comes to £27.30. The Prices I'd, I'd heard, I had several prices from different people, and they seem to be getting a better price than that. But I'll, you know, I'm happy with that, it's, it's what it is. Um, I think it's just depending where you are. I think the way I know it's, it's a lot of people said it's come it's come down, but I think there was a good price for it at one stage. But 650 is all right, I don't feel it. Um, my cast alley is a thousand pound a ton. Um, one pound a kilo is pretty obvious, isn't it? One pound a kilogram. 14 kilograms, 14 pounds. So that was that's easy enough. Um, yeah, that's about all I can see now. <laughs> and then we come to electric motors. Now, Chris, in the other week, I got 40 per kilogram. Um, and Bourne will offer me 60 per kilogram. Um, but they do different categories of motors so all the trans transformers went as low grade or rejects uh, electric motor rejects um so yeah so um anyway so the electric motors i was like the washing machine motors the whole complete motors they were 600 pound a ton 60 per kilogram i had 40 kilograms so that's £24. Well, okay, no problem. I thought that's okay. Um, me Transformers um, went as, like I say, they went as rejects. And that is uh, £270 a tonne, 27 per kilogram, 28 kilograms, and it comes to £7.56. Now, the, the thing about that is, I suspect I can see the screen now. The, the the thing about that is, well, I should if I I knew the price of the motors, but I didn't realise. And he said they they don't give so much for them, the rejects. I didn't realise how much difference there was because if I'd known that, I'd have kept hold of them because I drove right past Crescent. I mean, right past the gate, so I could have dropped them in there for the forty per kilogram, and made more money, you know. Um, but it is what it is. Even to, if you combine the two together, I still obviously made more money than I would have made out of the forty p from Crescent. But I'd rather took. I would have rather took them to Crescent. Like I said, you know, um, and that left me alley. The rest of the alley, what you see in the van, that was rolled. Like class, that was rolled alley, and that was nine hundred pound a ton, so ninety per kilogram. I had thirty one kilograms. And it comes to £27.90. Um, I thought it was okay. It's what it is. It's what it is. I'm happy. I mean, that last time I weighed Ali in was quite a while ago. And I think it was about six six fifty then. So 900 is, yeah, it's, a, it's obviously a lot better, isn't it? You can't, I can't complain. But it's just trouble with Ali, anything to do with Ali, um, there's no weight in it. You know what I mean? There's no, you can, you can fill the van up and it, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't weigh nothing. So anyway, like at the end, it comes to one hundred nineteen pound forty six p. That's unusual because normally they run. Well, every time I've gone in them before, they've rounded down to the uh, the nearest fifty p. They've always gone down, so it would have been one hundred nineteen pound. But it's got the forty six on here. Um, 
time of filming, it hasn't gone into the bank yet. So that'd be interesting to see how they pay me. Um, if I get the 46 per or not. Yeah, I'm not fussed over it, to be honest with you. Um, that's an experience again. <sighs> like I said, I used to do Bourne quite a lot. <sighs> I can't see me taking me, none f me, me Ferris stuff in there <laughs> for any particular reason um, at the moment. I know things are changing where I do go uh, um, soon. And then it... <clears throat> but even today... I drove in there and I was down the back of the van taking the stains out and I picked up three nails. And this is an unfairest area. I picked up three nails and then a couple of little, little bits of metal I kicked out of the way. Um, and it's separate to the rest of the yard. Don't get me wrong, this is a separate area. And then as I went back out, before I got in the van, I realised there was some other bolts and bits and pieces standing. I mean, that's in the bloody gateway. Um, yeah, admittedly, I will say they had just drove a forklift in there with a broom to sweep it when I pulled in, but I don't get it. I don't get why they don't tie that bloody yard. You know, if I'd end up with about 20 quid after I paid for a tyre, if you know what I'm saying, and it just annoys me. So, I mean, I, you know, it's a scrap yard, I expect metal, don't get me wrong. I just I don't care. It's just that I don't care. And I do say that would have so you know, the, I don't know. It's a big company. It's a big company, and I don't think they're interested in you know, people like us, well, people like me, I should say. You know, well, it's a shame, because the bloke who served me, he, was, he could have been any nicer, you know what I mean? And, yeah, you know, he helped me out. He was nice, and, you know, there's no rush. We just did, did the thing, and, you know. All the rest of it, I just feel like it's it's too big a company, you know. You all know who the company is it starts with an A and ends with an R, you know. <laughs> and I think I think I think they don't care about us. I don't think they care. I think when, like when you go like go to Crescent, it's a family run business, and I think they just appreciate you more. They appreciate everybody who comes in and. You know, because it, we're making a living out of it, and they're making a living out of it. So you you need each other, and I just think these big companies let us down, let us scrap people down. I mean, it could be a really bad experience for somebody not regular, but I mean, I, I don't know. You know, it's just a scrapyard. That's how they run on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyway, that was all right because like I say. Part of my journey today, so I take Louis to hospital on that. So, yeah, it was all right. Um, the next load is going to be, or well, next video will be, um, uh, trying to think, Arnie Alley again, another Arnie Alley load. Uh, got quite a bit to take in. Um, it's Friday when I'm filming this, and I know it's probably you know, it'll be a few weeks behind now, but um, it's Friday when I'm filming this, and we've got BMX in this week in training Saturday, and a re first winter regional uh, at Braintree. So I can't load the van again until Monday morning, which is a shame because I'd like to get that in the van and then get another load of um, mixed iron in on Monday, but I can't see it happening. So I think it's going to be on the alley Monday. Um, mixed mixed iron on Tuesday, um, and then we'll be getting somewhere with all that crap in the back garden. If you've watched that update, you'll know what's going on. Right, thanks for watching. Um, think about subscribing, give it a thumbs up if you can, and I'll see you next.